bomber to Ukraine. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said the United States is working on a deal with Poland to supply Ukraine with jets amid Russia's invasion. We are looking actively now at the question of airplanes that Poland may provide to Ukraine and looking at how we might be able to backfill should Poland decide to supply those planes, he told reporters on Sunday during a visit to Moldova. I can't speak to a timeline but I can just say we're looking at it very, very actively. The B-1B Lancer is a long-range, multi-mission, supersonic conventional bomber, which has served the United States Air Force since 1985. The aircraft is on track to continue flying, at the current demanding operations tempo, out to 2040 and beyond, and Boeing partners with the Air Force to keep the B-1 mission ready. Originally designed for nuclear capabilities, the B-1 switched to an exclusively conventional combat role in the mid-1990s. In 1999, during Operation Allied Force, six B-1s flew 2% of the strike missions, yet dropped 20% of the ordnance, and during Operation Enduring Freedom the B-1 flew on 2% of the sorties while dropping over 40% of the precision weapons. Unique Capabilities, B-1B Lancer Technical Specifications The Weapons Drop Demo prepares the B-1 to carry the payloads of the future. During the December 4 demonstration, the test team at Edwards Air Force Base in California loaded an inert, unpowered joint air-to-surface standoff missile on an external pylon and released it on the White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. Conducted by the Air Force Materiel Command and in partnership with Boeing, the external weapons demonstration informs U.S. Air Force choices on modernization priorities for the B-1. Increasing the B-1 capacity to carry more U.S. Air Force weapons is the first step. It addresses the current shortfall in overall weapons carrying capacity across the Air Force, explained Daniel Reuter, B-1 Advanced Programs Manager. The second step is carrying new weapons, such as hypersonic missiles, that address growing global security challenges. The latest capabilities offered through expanded carriage rely on the original design features of the aircraft, including previously inactive external hardpoints. These hardpoints, originally designed to support nuclear operations, were deactivated because of an arms control treaty. The reactivation of the hardpoints does not violate treaty provisions. In 2019, the Air Force completed an external carriage ground demonstration showing the B-1 could carry weapons externally to add a larger, heavier payload that could include hypersonic weapons. The success of the December test builds on this event, as well as an external captive carry flight last month. Hypersonic weapons will play a major role in the evolution of the B-1, Reuter said. As we demonstrate that we can readily integrate these game-changing weapons, it's important to consider the attributes that make the B-1 an impressive long-range striker in the U.S. Air Force today, speed, range and payload. That aircraft technical adaptability, combined with operational employment flexibility, will keep the B-1 relevant to the next fight. <laughs>